What's up guys, just wanted to jump on here and run you through how I've got my canopy set up and maybe give you guys a few, few ideas. So I've got a false wall up against the headboard inside the canopy. That's just a composite panel, which is a bit of plastic sandwiched between two bits of alley. And then on that, I've got all my 12 volt accessories mounted to it. So we'll start off with the lighting. Got a set of hardcore um, dimmable lights. So I can change the, change the color from white to combination to amber. So obviously if you're out in the bush, the amber lights just keep, keep the bugs away. And yeah, it's quite surprising how much of a difference that does make. Um, also on here, I've got an ox beam switch panel. So that's just a cheap $80 eBay switch panel, which is all fused and relayed on the other side of the canopy. Two of the switches are constant on. Um, I've heard a lot of people um, reading the reviews have had that issue. Luckily, I only need six, six switches for how I've got it set up at the moment. So it hasn't been, been an issue for me. Uh, I've also got two cigarette chargers and then two USB chargers mounted on this wall. So yeah, we can get to camp, put the USB in there and tuck the phone away. I've got a Renogy 500 amp um, shunt and digital, digital display. So I can see um, what current I'm drawing, what charge is going in, and then the overall state of charge of the battery. We'll move on to the fridge. So obviously got a King's 80 litre fridge. The, I did have a Bushman's fridge on order, but after doing a bit of research online and going back and forth, I uh, ended up settling for the King. So I think you pay $80, you get a three year warranty. And from everything I've read, they're made in the same factory. Uh, it's the same compressor. And with the King, you actually get a digital gauge to set the temperature rather than a analog dial that you turn. Um, and I actually don't mind the latch in the middle. And there's actually magnets in the door seal that keeps it keeps it shut. Um, up here, I've just got a bungee cord to keep the paper paper towel out the way. Um, yeah, it just makes things a bit easier. The pantry's from MW. So MW make the pull-out pantry. Um, heaps of storage in here for all your dry goods. And then in the front, I just keep my oils and my seasoning and stubby coolers and a few other things. Also from MW, I've got a pull-out drawer. So nice deep drawer. Um, keep my the canvas bags in there. Uh, so I got one for coffee and cooking, and then um, bug spray and a couple other things in there. And then also, also under there, I've got a pull-out table. So that comes out the full full way if I want it. Um, I can just pack the drawer away if I want to set it up that way. And yeah, nice little table for when you pull up for lunch. Anyway, I'll show you around the other side of the canopy. All right, so around this side of the canopy, um, this is where all my 12 volts mounted to that false wall that I was telling you about before. So I've got a Enerdrive 40 amp DC to DC charger. Um, that's obviously putting the charge in from the alternator into my 120 amp hour lithium ATG battery. So that's from a local boat bloke in Perth from lithium battery wholesale. Um, yeah, he's pretty competitive price and he's got a really good name for himself um, on all the Facebook pages. So also got a Victron solar MPPT um, charge controller. The reason I've kept that separate from the uh, Enerdrive charger is just for a bit of redundancy. Just if one, if one does fail, I've still got charge going from the alternator in or from the solar panel that's on the roof in. That solar panel on the roof is from Motop. Um, there is, I know a few people have had issues with the Motop 200 watt um, solar panel. Personally, I haven't had any problems and it's still putting in a lot of charge. So until that fails, yeah, I'll keep that on there. It's doing its job. Uh, we've got a circuit breaker for the aux beam uh, controller. That's where all the fuses and the relays are. And then the 500 amp shunt which you saw the display on the other side. Uh, fishing rod holder up here. So that's just a, a vertical rod rack that I've mounted on the uni strut on the roof. That keeps the fishing rods out of trouble. 
And then up here I've got a shelf just to keep all my gear out the way. All right, well that's how I've got my canopy set up. I find it super convenient to cook, clean up. Um, everything's easy to find. It gives me more time to enjoy the outdoors. So hopefully you got a few ideas out of it. Um, if you've got any questions about how I've got my canopy set up, leave it in the comments section down below. Anyway, thanks for watching.